Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So very Merry Christmas to all of you. Congratulations to the handful of you that have seen your way through the entire Advent calendar reveal sessions. There haven't been quite 25 because I've had to double up a few days, but it's been great fun for me to unwrap my various goodies from the Liberty Advent calendar with you on screen. Today's Christmas Day, had a miss yesterday, and my filming setup is a bit hit and miss today, but I hope um, you can all see and hear, and that you're all having, or have had by the time you see this, a wonderful, peaceful, healthy, happy Christmas, um, or seasonal holiday, whatever you celebrate or believe. So, um, let's get on with the last couple of boxes because uh, there's some Christmas dinner to be prepared. This is number 24, Christmas Eve, and I have to confess this isn't a blind opening as most of them have been because uh, this box fell open as I was transporting um, the day before yesterday. So I knew it was going to be this beauty, a diptyque candle in the classic fragrance that I love and is very popular. Uh, I actually associate it with summer um, rather than this season, although I know some people um, like it at Christmas too, and it's fig. Yeah, really gorgeous fragrance. The diptyque candles are some of the best. Um, they should be for the price they are. I love the elegant, simple, packaging, um, just cream and black. I love the um, fragrances, which are all very natural and true to life, and the burn on these candles is fantastic. I've actually been to the original shop at 34 Boulevard Saint-Germain many times, actually, and it comes across as quite an artisanal type shop um, with the beautiful old Poca 3 um, shelving. I'm saying that I haven't been probably for about four years so knowing my luck they've changed it completely and it is a bit out of the kind of fashionable part of Boulevard Saint-Germain so you wouldn't actually get off the tube to go there at um, Saint-Germain, you'd get off at Maubert Mutualité or one of those stations around there um, but well worth a visit if you're ever in um, France. I don't think um, it's particularly cheaper to buy the candles over there now, given the state of the pound vis-a-vis -vis the euro, um, but it's well worth a visit anyway. They make perfumes and they now make skincare products, some of which are quite nice, but it's really the candles that Diptyque um, rightly is famous for. So that was a beautiful and quite expensive um, Christmas Eve gift in my Liberty can um, calendar, which I'll definitely use. Here's Christmas Day, I, mean, I don't know, oh, should we just look what it said about Christmas Eve? Yeah, just that it was a classic favourite, reminiscent of an evening in the Mediterranean, and that's definitely true. Christmas Day. Haven't looked at this one. It's a perfume. I was thinking it was unusual that there were no perfumes in this um, calendar up till now. It's um, the Lalabo range, which I haven't bought from. I have tried them out a couple of times uh, in Liberties. They're very, very popular. Well, I say very popular, are popular amongst those who go for more niche fragrance makers. I have to say, I've always found them a little one note. The note that they do is very, very good, but I've never felt there's much complexity in their fragrances. Now, this one is compounded at Liberty on the 24th of the 12th, 18. Well, that isn't quite true, but I appreciate the the sentiment. And it's um, said to be Merry Christmas. I'm guessing it's called Another 13. Shall we try it? I'm gonna to have to look up what the notes are on this. It's very fresh. Quite grassy. So I'd say, yeah, this was definitely a green. But I'm not too sure what else is 
in it. It's smelling quite alcoholy, actually, on my hand from an early spritz. Okay, I was created in 2010 in collaboration with Jefferson Hack. I think he was an ex-boyfriend of Kate Moss, if I'm thinking of the right guy. Um, they have him down as editor-in-chief of another magazine, which I've never heard of. I'm a unique hypnotic eau de perfume parfum compo composed of earthy botanicals. Okay, so I was okay on the green. Ambroxan, jasmine, moss and ambrette. Now, that's interesting um, because I am not usually a fan of ambrette. The fragrance, I think it's number 18, which Chanel uses that features ambrette, is probably the only one of their exclusives range that I really don't like. Um, but I'm not hating this so far. I'm not loving it, but it's early days. You have to let a fragrance develop really for at least 20 minutes um, to make any sort of decision on how it fits with your skin chemistry. I do usually like jasmine. Moss, I have no idea what ambroxan is. I'm going to have to go away and look it up. Um, it says also nine additional ingredients, so they're being very coy there for an unrefined, natural smelling fragrance. I will say my initial reaction is not one of, oh, it's very natural. It smells very alcoholy in a way to me, but it's definitely a clean fragrance. And uh, it's definitely unisex, and I can see why they did that, um, given that the calendar, I guess, might have been bought by men, although I'm kind of assuming mostly women. Anyway, that's a really nice, um, exciting end to the Liberty calendar with a perfume that I hadn't tried before, and I'm going to enjoy trying today and uh, report back in due course. I do intend to... Um, perhaps do a video roundup of those products that I've particularly loved in this calendar. Um, and we'll see where I get with that. There have been quite a few that I have really genuinely liked and am using. So it's been a great success for me. And I've really enjoyed doing this with you, although I do seem to have lost an awful lot of subscribers. So maybe having a rethink about where this channel is going in the new year. But, um, until then, have a really beautiful day and, uh, and holiday, and I shall speak to you all soon. Merry Christmas. Bye.